All right, welcome back to Barbecue My Way. This is gonna be a pretty simple video, but something that has always driven me crazy about cast iron skillets, and we've had one for 20 years or so, is even once you cure them and then you cook with them, you can do things like pan searing steaks and pork chops. I do cast iron all the time, but when you do things more delicate like eggs, scrambled eggs, they just turn into a total mess. So I did a little research on the internet and came across a couple of articles about how you could make your Teflon, or I'm sorry, make your cast iron into something that works as well as Teflon. It's very simple. I'm going to show you how to do it, and then we're going to prepare a simple little breakfast called egg in a nest, which is basically an over easy egg with bread that has to, that has to work like Teflon for the dish to work. So let's get rolling. Okay, it's kind of, an, it's kind of interesting to me to figure out the the physics or the science behind why this technique works. A cast iron, by definition, is, is a very porous surface. And I think that's what creates the stickiness for things like eggs, scrambled eggs. They get down into the pore and it kind of connects itself. So the first thing we're gonna do is get this thing pretty darn hot. This will take a couple of minutes. All right, it's been about two, two minutes over medium high. Um, you should see a little bit of smoke coming out. So now what we're gonna do is just take a little bit of olive oil. Not a lot. This isn't for flavor or anything. It's just to create the surface that we're working with. And then you turn the heat off and you're gonna take a paper towel and just rub it around the surface. You're gonna pick up a lot of that olive oil into the paper towel, but you're creating the first layer of surface that creates the non-stick environment. All right, after it's cooled off just a little bit, we're gonna add just a, basically a dab of butter. We're gonna get it working around. Now what, what, what's happening is the olive oil filled the pores of the cast iron in, and now the butter sits on top of the olive oil. So now this is what's creating that really nice Teflon-like surface, and to prove it, I'm gonna now prepare an uh, egg in a nest for you. All right, we've got a nice piece of whole wheat bread. We've got a little melted butter here. We're just gonna very lightly coat both sides. And basically just punch out the center. And that's where the egg will go. And then we'll also be toasting this up in the skillet because who wouldn't want to eat that too? All right, we've brought this back up to just slightly over medium heat. Gonna add the bread, the egg in the middle. Now normally using cast iron, that would, even though it's cured, it would stick. But we'll turn it here and probably Two to three minutes once the bread starts to get you know nicely golden toasted that's the time to turn it and we'll be back to do that all right remember this is medium heat not medium high heat otherwise the bread will toast too quick but what i always check is i check this little guy that's perfect and see how easy this slides around that means that egg's not sticking so that's just the perfect example of something performing like teflon without it being teflon so now we're going to turn it and let it cook for another couple minutes. Our goal is to have it runny, but have the white cooked all the way through. All right, so now we plate it. Turn off the cast iron. The key is that we still have an over easy egg in the middle. Oh my, perfect. And then you take this and you dip it in that. Give this a try for breakfast. It might take a couple times to get used to the timing of it, but enjoy.